Matith Yahu, Matthew 20. For the kingdom of Yahuwah is like unto a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man has hired us. He says unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and you have made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them, and said, Friend, I do you no wrong. Did not you agree with me for a penny? Take that yours is, and go your way. I will give unto this last, even as unto you. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is your eye evil, because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. And Yahusha, going up to Yerushalayim, took the twelve Talmudim apart in the way, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Yerushalayim, and the son of Adam shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the outer nations to mock and to scourge, and to crucify him. And the third day he shall rise again. Then came to him the mother of Zavdi's children with her sons, worshipping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What will you? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on your right hand and the other on the left, in your kingdom. But Yahusha answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able, Eth, to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be immersed with the immersion that I am immersed with? They say unto him, We are able. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be immersed with the immersion that I am immersed with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. But Yahusha called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the other nations exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the son of Adam came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. And as they departed from Yericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside. 
when they heard that Yahusha passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Adonai, son of David. And the multitude rebuked them, because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Adonai, son of David. And Yahusha stood still, and called them, and said, What will ye that I shall do unto you? They say unto him, Adonai, that our eyes may be opened. So Yahusha had compassion on them, and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him.